Hey everyone, talking about Electric Eau de Parfum by Agent Provocateur. The notes in this are lime, lemon, bergamot, fig tree, fig, sandalwood, and amber. This smells so good for the price. Like this is one of those where it's just like, whoa, just incredible price to scent ratio. This you can get for like under $20 on FragranceNet for a hundred milliliter. And I am very impressed at that price. I mean, I, and I think it would smell good either way. It's not like if this cost $300, I would be like, this sucks or something like that, but just, it w might not be as like mind blowing and just like, oh, that's nice. But like, this is like, what for $20. So there's like nice, sweet, fresh, bright citrus in the opening. And the fig is already sort of weaving its way in and out. And this like cozy, classy sandalwood and amber coming in more by the dry down. Some people get more of a cleaning sprayish aspect from what I read from the citrus here. And it is kind of sharp at times, but it really works for my nose, and sometimes I really feel like, oh, that's too cleaning sprayish. So at least for me, I'm not getting that kind of lemon pledge vibe, just a really nice, strong citrus, but, and it's balanced by like the fig and other stuff. Yeah, this is just, so, I would not bat an eye if I saw that this was priced at, you know, say $150 for 100 mil instead of 20 bucks. Not that I would think like, you know, that's no money or something like that, but I wouldn't think like, what? How could they charge that for this? This doesn't smell, like, no, this is really, really good. Yeah, I think it pretty much smells niche. Um, moderate to good longevity and projection as well, so it's not terrible on that front or anything. Yeah, and pretty unisex to my opinion. I believe it might be marketed as feminine, but it's very unisex to me. Yeah, wow, so very impressive. And if you like citrus, fig, sandalwood, and amber, absolutely recommend checking this out. For It might be hard to get a sample, and this is one of those rare cases that we're even as someone who does not advocate blind buys ever, because it's under 20 bucks, you could always just sell it if you don't like it. And even if you didn't get all your money back, like you're not risking as much. But wow, yeah, if you've tried it, let me know what uh, you think.